Ladies and gentlemen, today we are once again witnessing the true power of time. I'm gonna collect a few Christmassy stock photos and using those I have to make something in 5 minutes, 30 minutes and 2 hours. All to see how big the difference really is. I spent time looking for some juicy images and then I stumbled upon this. And then I thought, what if we just turn Gandalf into Santa? I mean, we can even add Bilbo as an elf. <laughs> that seemed like a genius plan, so I gathered some more stock photos to accompany these. Now let's fire up Photoshop and see how we do. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are for the five minute version. Let's see if we can actually make this work. I don't think we can. Five minutes is incredibly short. Now here I have five minutes ready, so let's just freaking go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is get our Gandalf photo right here and make sure that's cut out. Select subject, because I'm lazy for this one. Super lazy let's go perfect okay then let's see we're gonna need bilbo as well he's obviously very small because he's a hobbit there you go then the exact same thing select subject my voice is still a bit weird by the way it's still a bit cracky because my gold still hasn't really passed completely but let's go and put the background in here there you go just right here that's gonna be some snow on top of that then this thing right here in the back this is already taking so long just putting these items in i'm <laughs> not gonna lie i'd be surprised if i can just make this work already just putting them in there in the first place. Okay, then we've got this snow thing, which I want to put on the ground here, just like this. Very perfect, very, uh, very nice. And the same thing again, but all the way up here, just like so. This is a true disaster. <laughs> that is bad on a whole other level. Let's put those uh, right here was the idea. Oh yes, the lantern. I'm going to hang that right up here like we discussed. Don't have time to fix the perspective on that. Then these presents. Let's hang these on... Uh... <laughs> Gandalf, there you go. Let's put that on his head. I'm gonna have to erase the inside of this real quick. Oh boy, this is terrible. One minute and 20 seconds left. We've got this hat for Bilbo. This looks ridiculous, but I guess we'll just have to go with it, <laughs> right? And then also these lights, uh, those are going to be... You know what? For this, I am gonna use some puppet warp, actually. Well, pretty much... Uh, you know, just like this, just making the shape uh, go around. Then we still have a few seconds left. Let's make a shadow, an actual shadow. Can you believe it? Just a little bit under their feet here to make it look uh, very realistic. Oh, look at that bit of shadow behind that thing as well. Top notch editing right here. That should look absolutely sick. How much time we got left? Oh my God. Well, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, five minutes of photoshopping. This is awful. This is sad. Uh, let's move on to 30. This video is very consistent with previous episodes since, again, we couldn't do anything else other than simply placing the elements. Also, I forgot the snowflake, so this is technically not even valid. Anyway, let's set the 30-minute clock and see what happens then. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are for 30 minutes. Let's see how this goes. No time to waste. We have the clock ready here, as you can see. Let's go in 3, 2, 1, go. First of all, I'm gonna grab my Gandalf image, and this time I will still use select subject right here. I'm gonna allow myself to do this stuff for the 30 minute version. It looks a bit shit, but it's still better than nothing. So let's just freaking go with it. And let's drag in this guy and do the exact same thing again. And let's put the background in here, something like this. And let's put the sky in there already. And we are going to use some warp to make sure the shape kind of matches. And then let's just use a brush to kind of put that, um, on here, like this. Very nice and simple. How am I supposed to make this look nice? This is sad, like honestly. <laughs> Let's put this on those leaves there. There you go. That kind of fits it out into the leaves, but not, you know? Yeah, no, that's super dumb. It's not terrible. I've seen worse things in my life, not gonna lie. Paint it on the ground here. Like, oh, look at that. Dude, that actually works like so well. We have 23 minutes left. Let's put this lantern right here on this hook. Do some quick perspective warp. That's a bit better already. There you go. Let's just paint on this to make it nice and bright. That looks awful. That is... That is bad. I did that a bit too quick and too enthusiastic. <laughs> and now what I had hoped to work very well is adding a bit of an orange highlight on the left side of Gandalf. Just like so. That looks a bit wonky, but uh, let's see if it works. There you go, all the way down here. See, that is a bit strange, but it does work, I guess, for what we need. So let's just freaking go with it. Still need to add a bunch of stuff, so let's hurry the hell up. First, I need these two presents right here on his uh, hip. We also can't forget about this thing, so let's put that in here. This will need a drop shadow. I would usually just paint this myself, but I don't feel like putting in that effort. That looks like absolute trash, but we'll just leave it. Here, I want a bit of a highlight because the light, of course, 
course, from the back is pretty freaking bright. Very realistic. We are gonna need a shadow below them, of course. I nearly forgot. Like, that's the most important thing by far. Let's go and paint under these two guys. This is gonna look wonky as hell. I feel like every shadow we add in this version is uh, a total win. So let's just freaking go. The weird thing is, the less time you have, the harder it is to actually decide what you can and can't do. Like, that's the hardest thing right now. I just know that it is going to be tight. So I guess let's add some shadows on these presents. Then also one very important thing I wanted to make is uh, clothes. Clothes? I hate that word. Um, red. So let's try and do that. Let's make this a bit reddish like so. And then we are simply going to have to paint all over his clothes. Clothes. Oh my god. There you go. All over his sleeves as well. Just like that. Very nice and detailed, most of all. Yes, that's what this is. I mean, that does make it a lot more festive. Like, this is pretty, pretty nice, isn't it? Then, let's go and grab the Santa hat. There you go. Let's go. We have 14 minutes left. That is not much. Okay, do we have everything? No, we do not. There's also the elf hat. There you go. You can totally see how this is made for his head. It's a perfect fit. I can't stand looking at this stuff. Just look at that. That is so... Ooh. We still have about 12 minutes left, so I guess that's good. These are gonna have to be, like, rounded with the shape of that that doorway there. Now we can maybe add just a bit of a drop shadow to those to make it look like they're attached to the wood. Like that. Look. Oh, that's so realistic. Let's kind of make it look like these two are actually very close to each other by adding some nice shadows. Just like that. Also down here, he should be a bit darker, I feel like. I just realized the presence in the corner there. There you freaking go. Almost forgot. We are going to need that yellow highlight on here there you go oh that looks fantastic look at that <laughs> i am having serious doubts about this this is not very nice we have eight minutes left do we have everything no we don't we still don't have everything the snow let's put this on screen these little ones i'll put on top only and then the large ones right here are just going to be all over the whole freaking image very nice and and well thought through for sure <laughs> Oh boy, here you go. Look how realistic that is. This is just... Oh, this is um, mediocre at best. Let's go ahead and add a camera roll filter. The one thing that miraculously can make stuff that's terrible look less terrible, but still pretty terrible. Let's just make this a bit more colorful. Add some whites. Oh, there you go. Add some sharpening because this is not sharp enough already here i mean this makes it look a bit more icy here you go that is absolutely fantastic let's hit okay we still have three minutes left what are we gonna do in three minutes um let's see what's not gonna take two i guess we can enhance some of the shadows in here the whole inside of this should be a bit darker in general especially the vertical area i'm not even sure if this is gonna really make it that much better but i guess we can always try maybe we can also go and add some glow to these colored lights because uh why not? Here you go. Very nice and subtle. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then that should be pretty much it. Very epic. That makes it even more colorful. One minute. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? I don't know what we should do. There you go. Bit on the side, bit on the bottom. Just a little bit. 15 seconds. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, I need to re-add the camera raw filter. Come on. Come on. Hurry. Hurry the hell up. Smart object. Four seconds. Okay. Let's go. The timer has ran out. Uh, this is the final image. 30 minutes of Photoshop. Uh, not gonna lie. I like the vibe. Like, it's very vibrant. But, you know, the lighting and the shadows and the, the... It's all over the place. But still, let's compare. That is a big difference for sure. I was actually able to do way more things than I thought initially. So that's good, I guess. I am curious to see what happens if we put some actual time into this. So let's go and do that. As expected, this one began the exact same way. I put in some of the base elements again. Gandalf and Bilbo I decently cut out this time off screen, because that's pretty boring to watch, obviously. First, I made sure the snow on top looked decent. And I could take my time with this. I could actually breathe while editing. I did some lighting and proper masking, and this looked a ton better than previous ones already. It also kind of hit the sunlight from the original image, so that was good. Then the lantern. I fixed the perspective, hid it behind these leaves in detail and then added light inside. This of course are things that will make it look a ton better when you have more time, because it's manual painting. That's for sure the main thing I think will make this superior to the 30 minute version. And I mean, obviously the 5 minute version.
Then Gandalf and Bilbo. I started with Gandalf first of course the basic coloring and lighting. And I could again do this far more detailed than before which is great. His clothing is pretty straightforward again but this time I didn't rush it so it actually looks decent this time around. Just a lot of red, white and brown quite does it for the Santa Claus look. So well why make it harder than it has to be? I later added the last accessories to him, the bag on his back and the presents on his hip. Now for Bilbo it's essentially the same thing but different colors. He's a Christmas elf so I enhanced the green and red a bit and added a buttload of shadowing. This time around I actually tried fixing the lighting on him which initially just doesn't work for this actually. And at the end it still didn't look perfect but at least a whole lot better than before. It's mostly his face that looks a bit off still. Now the decorations for the Hobbit hole. Very straightforward but again simply better than before. Especially the colored lights have gotten a lot more attention this time around. Towards the end it's just adding slight adjustments, fixing little issues and of course the snowflakes at the very end along with a camera raw filter. In this one I made sure the lantern's light is very warm to contrast the blue shadows. That looked pretty nice. And there you go, now we finally have something to actually compare. Let's get into it. The most notable difference is of course the lighting. The two hour version is darker but also far more accurate and realistic. It's more actual nighttime here where the previous one is basically just a blue snowy day. There is far more effort put into proper shadows, highlights and well I feel like I'm stating the obvious here. I do like how colorful and festive the 30 minute one is and that maybe could have been nice on the final version as well. But of course the approach is completely different and I went for realism instead. That 5 minute version though, I don't even want to get into that at this point. Overall a very successful challenge if you ask me. And then I guess for today that is pretty much it. If you like this video make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single video and then I hope I'll see you in my next video. Don't believe